You're going to want to flip all your cells face down. Uh, this is just something I've learned from experience. Make sure you handle everything by the edges. And you want to alternate them so that your exposed tabbing wires are hanging out opposite ends. I'm not wearing gloves in the uh, pursuit of saving time because I need to go to work soon. And then what you do is just drop in those tile spacers, one at each end. Whatever you do, do not forget to take these out. You can see how tabbing or uh, spacing all the rest of them. I have all this uh, extra room. Let's see if I can maneuver over to the end here. I am going to try and do this close one first. Or let's do the far one. And all you want to do is cut off the length of tabbing wire. And you can just eyeball this. All it needs to do is go from this first wire to where this one will be in a minute. And go ahead and lay all those out. I'm just going to tab the wire, the one for right now on camera. It's actually a little bit easier to set the bus wire down underneath the tabbing wire. And just try and get it as close to the cells as possible in the interest of preserving space. Um, you are going to need some room to work around on the outside edges of the glass. And we need to put a basically a frame around this. For your next step, you will need another person. And you will need to. Uh, where did the pencil go? Once you don't see a seam anymore between the tabbing wire. and the bus wire, you know you're good to go. This is lead free solder. I don't know why, but every single video I looked up said to use lead free solder, so I figured why not. So there we go. Now the next little step is to take clippers, clip off the tabbing wire, as close to the bus wire as you can get it. <clears throat> then take your flux pen, clean off just these last two pads, See, three won't quite make it. It just makes it to the edge of the cell. You need that extra half inch. So this is a tricky part because you have even less to hold on to. I might use just a little bit of solder.
That one was a lot easier. And don't uh, solder down your tat uh, to your bus wire just yet, because you notice our uh, cells moved. And you have to keep an eye on that throughout the whole process. Of course, you could go back to the salt and pepper, but I think that might be kind of a futile effort. your cells back together, which I guess happened when I was doing the last one. Okay, now I'm uh, doing this handheld. I figure it might be a little bit easier to show some of this stuff close up. You can see my solder connections are nice and smooth, uh, as well as I can show them. Uh, I'm doing this handheld, I don't have exactly a steady hand. Um, so both of these are connected. Now, if I wanted to run my multimeter again, I could test the wires down, the tabbing wires down here at the end to the back of this one, and I should get six volts running through this. Um, when I get all of them together, um, I don't know, my math, I can't think right now. So, uh, what you're going to do here is exactly what you're going to do here. So. When you're through tabbing, and I'll uh, come back and do that, I might have to finish after uh, I go to work. You're going to have on this end two pieces that look like this, and on this end, let's see if I can maneuver my light a little bit. You're going to have a same thing connecting the two in the middle, and then you're going to have a smaller piece just connecting, just connecting these wires and just for these pads which will have wires going to the back and that is where your positive and negative hookups are going to be okay so everything has been tabbed together and uh, right now I'm running a voltage something actually kinda interesting that I didn't notice before these are drawing three volts and I'm shining the light at the back of them. Uh, I didn't know the backs of them could pick up uh, uh, electricity. Or, uh, so I have my leads running to uh, the back. Everything is wired up, as you can see. This is where my positives hooked up. It's running to the back of this cell. Everything is in series. It runs all the way across. Those are bussed together that rows bust together and finally to the back of them all the way over to here where the negative charge is running through the front of this one since I'm generating a current that should mean that all of mine are correctly in series without errors um, I have the uh, let's see how well I can zoom in on this uh, it's pretty pixelated I wired my or I soldered my wire directly to the bus wire. Uh, if you can't figure out how to do that, I'm done giving out soldering tips. Uh, you should really consider finding a friend that knows how to solder or just giving up on this project entirely and uh, probably shouldn't try this anymore. I will say use uh, braided wire. You don't want to use a solid core here. It's a little bit too stiff. Uh, and I'm only using 14 or 16 gauge. It's surplus wire out of a power, uh, computer power supply. Uh, the braided wire uh, bends easier, solders to the wire, uh, solder, solders to the tabbing or the bus wire flat, and then you can get uh, 